everybody. Today I want to show you how to plan a corridor mission. In Cubase you go to the mission section here in the main menu. You go to new mission and for example we want to map this little road here in the center of the map. First of all you go to the mission settings and we check our aircraft, okay Trinity F90 Plus and our designated sensor Sony RX1. Okay, then we are looking for a suitable starting and landing position. I think here it's quite okay. Okay, we go to add new element, set it first the takeoff and landing spot and place it somewhere next to the road. As you can see on default, they're always located to the heading northwards. Um, to adjust it, we have to check the wind settings. Okay, today the wind is coming from the west, so we also should align the descent circle and the takeoff position to the west. First of all, I start with the takeoff direction to the west. I make this cone a little bit narrow. 20 meters I think is okay for the transition altitude. Next thing will be the retransition. I grab this flag symbol that indicates the retransition waypoint with the left mouse and point it a little bit before my home waypoint. That means and where the flag is located, the retransition has ended and the Trinity is again in copter mode. Okay. You can also change the descent circle from left to right, from right to left. And that I will show you just by clicking on descent direction. It's descending the other way around. Okay, retransition altitude of 30 meter, I think is not necessary here. It's a, with a area with any, without any obstacles, so we can go down to 20 meters. So 20 meters, I think that fits. All right. And now I can collapse also the wind settings. Go to new, add new elements and click draw new corridor. With this new corridor, you just can follow by clicking this road, here a little bit more around the curve and up to this cross section. Here, I think that's it as an example. After finishing, you will maybe with the first thing you will recognize is a lot of turn angles here in all these curves. You see it here because this corridor is built up a lot of single segments. And if the turn angle is more than 10 degrees, the Trinity has to turn itself to come in the next element straight forward. You can see it here in the show advanced sections. Maximum turn angle allowed is 10 degree. If you just for to showing you, I allow a turn angle of let's say 25 degree, you will see these turn angles disappear. But then you maybe will uh, face a lot of oblique imagery because the Trinity can curve with a roll angle through these curves. To avoid these uh, oblique imageries and keep all your images nadir, we have to reduce the maximum turn angle. Now back to 10 degree. So you always see the original image again. Now we will double check the ground sample distance. Let's see here, ground sample distance should be 1.5 centimeters as we have uh, in, this, in the settings, corridor settings, to double check that. Go to the uh, table of contents in the number three corridor and open this show height payload trigger symbol. Now you see a lot of very bright green symbols. These uh, symbolize the single camera symbols. See the, the GSD is all the same all over the corridor. <clears throat> you also can see that in the plot section in the lower section of uh, Cubase. The GSD is all the way the same, around 1.5 centimeters. If you're fine with your mission, click Finish Element, you can save your mission and upload it to Trinity. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.